time for rock hard six pack abs and a sexy back to match. Let's get started. Today is time to get a sexy back and a six pack. Are you guys ready? We're gonna start on the floor. We're pretty much gonna be down here the whole time. We're gonna start with a runner's crunch. So you're gonna have your legs out nice and long. All right, lay flat on your back. Now you want your elbows bent at 90 degrees. You're gonna roll up, pull those abs in. You're gonna bring one elbow back, one forward, and then you're gonna slowly peel that back down. Alternate arms and legs. So when you roll up, I want you to exhale, and then peel that back down to the ground. Notice how my elbows stay at 90, so I am working my shoulders. I'm pausing at the top, slowly peeling down. This really warms up that entire front abdominal wall. And believe it or not, you're working your back. You're working your entire midsection here. So rolling up, rolling down. Oh, you got that runner's look, right? You got your elbows bent at 90. Good. Making sure to peel down slow. Let's get one more on the other leg. Exhale. And roll down. Oh, baby, I hope you're warm. Okay, so stay right here. Now, I want you to bring your legs up, okay? Arms up. This is a reverse bird dog. So with this one, you want your opposite arm and leg to lengthen, exhale, and then bring it together. So exhale, inhale, bring it up. Now here, notice that my low back is pressed into the mat. That's so key, all right? That means you're pulling in your abdominals, your deep, deep muscles there and you're really working that entire midsection. Again, oh man, feel the burn, come on. Doing good, couple more seconds. <sighs> Breathe, oh yeah, good, hope you're fired up. Last two, bring it together, exhale, Shh. bring it together, all right. Now, come onto your side, and this is gonna work those obliques and your shoulder and your back, okay? So come into a side plank. Make sure that elbow is directly underneath the shoulder. You're coming up into that side oblique plank. Now you're gonna rotate, bringing that elbow down towards the hand and then open it up. My entire shoulder is working to stabilize my body, so my back is working and I'm working my obliques, my core, my back muscles here. Good, rotate and open. I know this looks a lot easier than it is, so if some of you have to modify, go from the knees. Okay, that's a great modification for this one. You can even go with one leg straight and one leg down. Rotating, just try to keep that body straight. Let's switch sides. Okay, so going from that elbow, legs are nice and long. You're gonna lift up and rotate. Coming down and open. Really keep those hips up from the ground. I know the tendency here is to let those hips drop, Keep them up there, rotate, and open. Good. And remember, you can modify this one by going down to that knee. It's okay. Rotate and open. Breathe. Woo! You're doing great. Last couple. I'll do this last one up on my toes, down, and up, and excellent. All right, now, we're gonna work that back side, okay? So you're gonna come onto your belly, and now I want you to really, in this position, I want you to really lift up that chest, okay? You bring those arms down to your side, lift up, look towards the floor, reach those arms up overhead, and then come back down. So the key here is to keep the chest as high as possible. Keep that chest up, even as those hands come up over the head, and then bring them back. This is a really challenging move for that back, all right? The low back and the upper and middle back are working. Breathe it out, you got it. Couple more seconds. Good. Let's get two more. Remember, you wanna really exhale during the exertion right here, and then inhale on the way back. Okay, now, coming onto your back again, bicycle crunches with straight legs. So we're really getting back into that stomach. So, you got your legs up, shoulder blades up. Here's where you really gotta pull your shoulder blades off the ground. You're gonna exhale, bring your opposite elbow to knee, and switch. Breathe, keep your low back on the ground. Don't let that back arch up, right? Keep it pressed to the floor. Exhale. Good, you're breathing, you're moving. Last two, good. 
Now we got one more exercise. You're gonna come onto your back, and for this one, you're gonna do a twist. So, you're down on the ground. You're gonna lift that chest and rotate. Down and rotate. This one is a major challenge on the back oblique. Down and rotate, good. This one's a challenge, give me two more. Down, up, and relax. Woo, I know that's a quick burn, but hopefully you made it with me. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time on Pop Sugar Fitness.